Thank you. All right. Uh, good morning again for the record. I hope that we are doing well. Welcome to day two of month one of the SGS phase. Um, and I hope that we are still energetic and excited to get to just digest everything that we're going to be looking at in this week and also especially for today and even for the rest of the period. So yeah, let's get started with our stand-up routine. Um, you tell us how was yesterday, um, you know, with all the information that were given from Arun's session to the rest of the sessions. How was yesterday? What insights did you grab that are going to be helping you throughout the entire job search phase? Can you share us some one or two? They are very okay. And then um, after that, you tell us how was LinkedIn networking? Did you actually do it? How, which people were you focusing on when sending those connection invites? We, what kind of people or in which field did you focus on specifically? We can get started with those, with anyone answering those two questions. All right, Shamil, go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. So, uh, I think I missed one of the questions, but uh, can can you repeat that for me? The, the, yeah, the connection and what was the yeah. uh, The first one was, how was yesterday with all information that have been shared in SGS onboarding and employee and employer alignment? Like, what were your main takeaways from all sessions that happened today? And then about LinkedIn networking, did you actually do it during the time for LinkedIn networking? And what kind of um, people did you focus on? Like, which professions are they in? Okay, so so like I, I, I my 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 target was uh, in ML related fields. So I started uh, reaching out from the cohorts. So I, I reached out like because some of us have uh, the same uh, the same paths. So I think I thought that was beneficial. I reached out to some of the trainees here, uh, previous trainees also. Yeah. So and I started following different uh, channels or groups that are the same paths as mine. So to get the updated information and news on, on LinkedIn. So yeah, basically I targeted uh, from my uh, current path. Uh, so yeah, uh, I was uh, previously I was uh, I was looking at the document uh, uh, that was shared also last week. So my my main takeaways from there were like uh, uh, refining my CVs based on it, uh, the GitHub profiles that the, li the also the links, yeah. So one of one of the links had a reference to a website that that was really interesting. It was called Datacam. So yeah, uh, I I started looking into that for some refreshers to actually refine my uh, my understanding on the previous. Uh, in, in previous week challenges so i'm still working on week 12 challenge so i'm actually uh, on concluding that so i think i'll be concluding until friday so yes i also start working on my cover letter so this is basically everything summed up okay thanks for detailed uh what Shamil, that is very great. Keep it up. And I liked how you are starting with, you know, small, small steps when it comes to uh, networking. So, yeah, keep it up as well. And also working on week 12 challenges. Again, really keep it up. The good job. Um, Ahmed, you can go ahead. 
Hello, good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, yesterday, I didn't uh, do too much uh, because I faced the uh, power cut for a long time. But I was working on uh, enhancing my CV. And uh, the day before it, I was uh, reaching out to people from the previous cohort. So uh, about, uh, it's uh, in LinkedIn, so it's uh, LinkedIn uh, networking. And I wanted to work with Abu Bakr in uh, week 12 project, but for the electricity issue, I couldn't yesterday. So I will try to manage this today. Uh, I think uh, that is all. Okay, amazing. Keep it up, Ahmed, as well. Let's go next. Yes, Hilary. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday was uh, was was a great day with all the information you are provided with. And one thing I got to is that the yeah, the success of this uh, search face job search face uh, solely depends on me. So uh, I have to like give all my my all my best in in this in this space. So uh, and then with LinkedIn, I. Uh, the people I targeted were, were on the side of machine learning and uh, software engineering. So those are the people I focused on connecting with. But also I found like uh, officials, uh, I found uh, potential uh, people like those who have been on higher ranks, let's say on Microsoft and uh, even on cybersecurity areas, but they have been on they have, they have had experience in the field for longer, so I also connected with those. Um, yeah, that's what I had. Okay, amazing. Are they connecting back? Are yeah. they accepting advice? Okay. Yeah, actually, got on. I got mm -hmm. on. Okay, don't forget to engage them. Don't forget to engage them. DM them uh, anything and then try to keep the conversation going. Yeah. Um, yeah, and with the learning that the success of this phase solely depends on you, that's a good one. Um, it's going to really always uh, help you remind yourself that, yeah, the success is going to just be about you and it will always wake you up in case you are trying to i mean you, you're starting to feel like a bit discouraged when we go through it but i hope it doesn't happen anyway yeah um let's hear from johannes good morning johannes good morning so yesterday session was uh gave me an insight on how the job face search phase will be and there are some plan uh, I want to implement. One is like uh, Abu Bakr said, instead of just having one resume, I want to get to a habit of refining my resume based on the job requirement. And the other thing is, uh, I want to have, I want to take some uh, courses, for example, on ML loops, and I started uh, one course. Uh, on email loops, uh, I was recommended uh, by a friend and I started doing that yesterday. And for the LinkedIn, I didn't do much uh, yesterday, but I joined one group uh, related to data science and I was just thinking how I can sell myself on that group and maybe posting uh, the project I did on Ten Academy on something like that. And other thing I did yesterday was I applied for a paid job at Omdena. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Omdena, but it's where a group of machine learning and data science scientists uh, get a lot to do some project. And I applied one on a paid job, and the other is some local project uh, to build more confidence. And Hanok uh it's i will send you the link on the on the channel 
Yeah, absolutely. Actually, can you share both links, uh, the cost link and also that community link on okay, the for... math one channel? Okay, the LinkedIn, the LinkedIn one, the LinkedIn group? Both of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the LinkedIn group and then the course link that you started, just in case anyone is interested in looking um, into it. Okay. Um, all right, uh, keep it up, Johannes. And uh, there is something you said about posting about the projects you did. That's a very good one. Within the LinkedIn networking session, no, time, you can not only uh, connect with people, but also try to make different posts about what's going on with you. That means the projects that you've been working on, post about them so that even the new connections that are accepting your invites, they find something interesting on your page to read about. I know that you mo maybe already have it in the project section of your LinkedIn, but uh, it doesn't that that doesn't act like a border for you to go ahead and post about them. So yeah, please do anytime. Yes, Johannes. <laughs> so I had some idea, like instead of just uh, posting my project uh should it be is it better to post it on a group because uh wider people might see that yeah so for example that one yeah that one i joined has around two million people and yeah yeah i can say do both do both for that group it's very important and then for the people who are connecting with you on LinkedIn who may not be part of that group, they also can have the privilege to see what you're working on. I mean, it's important on their side as well. So better um, to do both. Okay. All right. Hi, Daisy. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday, uh, the thing that stood out to me from the introduction was the importance of selling myself in an interview because then I realized that companies are looking for people who bring value so that's something I'll be focusing on in my applications and I also made some connections on LinkedIn I was mostly looking for people in AI and software engineering and at first I couldn't really find that many people because my previous uh, people from university and the degree that I did. So I did a deeper dive and I started finding more people to connect with. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You can filter with any prompts that you want. I mean, filter by country, by companies. You will be able to see so many people to connect with as well. Yeah, and of course, again, also when they accept your invite, don't forget to engage them. Just start small talks and see if there are people you can actually leverage on. You know, they can teach you anything or if you can learn anything from them or if they can help you in one way or another, just keep engaging them. Yeah. Um, all right, Michael, go ahead. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday's session was uh, an eye-opening for me, uh, especially uh, what Ar Aaron says, like uh, we shouldn't only think about this year or this six months, we should think it as a, a career, like after three or four years, then the, the trajectory of the success will be very high. So that was a thing I, I took. So yesterday in the LinkedIn, uh, I have many connections uh, actually. So I tried some of them, but instead uh, I, I DM many of my connections if they have uh, uh, if they have entry job or uh, yeah entry job and uh, what do you call it? Yeah, basically three jobs. So I did many of the connections. 
and in the and I took one course uh, in the Coursera, the deep learning course. So the the Certac fest they said uh, it, it, you you should pay under hundred dollar I think. So um, for the last uh, fifteen days ago, I think I wrote a a financial aid uh, email. So they they took ninety percent of the cost. So I just paid five dollars, and when I finish. I will have uh, a certain fit. So, for those of you who want, like you, you just uh, you can you can write an email, implying that you can't afford or like asking for help. Then they will revoke the ninety percent of the cost. Thank you. Okay, that's super. That's super amazing and interesting, and I like the way we are starting to invest in upskilling on an early stage. Really, yeah, keep it up. Very good mindset, and um, yeah, that's it. Okay, one question I had: How are you approaching people? Um, are those who you are asking if they have any opportunities open? How are you approaching them? And what kind of messages are you sending them specifically? Michael, you are muted. Okay, uh, I was watching some YouTube. Actually, it is in Amharic. Maybe I will share it. So, uh, the, the, she, she was talking about how we can devote the financial aid. Basically, what we are saying is we are a student. I said I am a student and I can't afford and uh, we don't have a payment system in our country. So when I wrote that, they told me to to wait 15 days. Then after that, uh, uh, they said they accepted my request and they on uh, the, the price down for like uh, eight, seven dollars after tax. So yeah, they can try that and I'll share the link and other uh, materials as well. Okay, and with the networking, uh, LinkedIn networking that you're doing, my question is um, the people you're telling that you're asking if they have any open entry level jobs or opportunities, how are you approaching them? What are you telling them specifically? Uh, that I uh, I was talking I, I was taking this uh, program training and that I finished the technical part so if they have an open job or okay yeah and, that's really and, great mm -hmm. and internship yeah, that, as well if they have yeah mm, okay that that's a very good approach w what I wanted to say is that you you should show them. Uh, what you are exactly showing them, like what you have accomplished and why you are looking for further opportunities. You know, so that's a good point. Showing them what you have and how you, that you want to use it. Instead of just asking them if they have open opportunities. So really good approach, keep it up. Um, who wants to go next? Yes, Enoch. I, uh, I was just replying to uh, Mr. when she said uh, the 75% discount. Like, uh, I think it depends on the specific course, the different types of discounts. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Yep, Mr. I hope you got the answer. Let's continue. But Enoch, do you want to go ahead and share with us how was yesterday for you in regards to the sessions delivered and LinkedIn networking? Yeah, uh, I think I agree with uh, Michael. The most important thing uh, like I got from yesterday was Arun saying like we should plan uh, for the next few years instead of the next few months uh, when we are going about the, the job search phase. 
Okay, perfect. And how did you approach LinkedIn networking? Did you do it and how exactly? Uh, honestly, I did it just a little bit. I just searched uh, machine learning engineers uh, and I requested a connection with a few of them, but uh, I, I didn't do more than that, uh, to be honest. Okay, all right. So plan to start engaging them earlier before they even forget they recently accepted your connection. So start engaging them. Okay. Um, okay. Who wants to go next? Yes, Shayla. Hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so yesterday um I had already previously had already started doing a little bit of connecting on LinkedIn. So yesterday I just connected with um, okay, I was looking for Gen, Gen, Gen AI engineers, and um, I was also looking for software engineers as well. I managed to get a connection from a software engineer, and also I had sent connection requests to some of the trainees here. And yeah, I received like one from Hillary yesterday. Then um, for me, yesterday, I was having connection issues during the SJS onboarding session, the two sessions that were intertwined. So I kept being on and off the call. So what I did immediately after was I went to, I, I tried figuring out what was going on. I looked at the document again and I tried grasping whatever was happening. And I went to the, I went to the challenge, challenge documents on tanks to, um scheme over and see the ones that were for gen ai so that i could start refining them so that i can make my github presentable and also continue working on my medium profile so yeah that's what i worked on yesterday okay that's super that's super uh keep it up as well sheila on your side um and good that you started networking earlier just to ensure that you are engaging those people you are specifically just saying hi, um, you know, following up on any of their recent posts. I mean, like commenting on them or if they don't have any recent posts, you can go ahead and tell them about what you're doing and why you are interested in connecting with them further. So, yeah, keep engaging them on your side as well. Um, uh, Grace, you raised your hand. Do you want to go next? Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday was interesting. The SDS part was very opening. I had uh, an interview yesterday with someone from Google had reached out to me from LinkedIn. I've been very active on LinkedIn. So after I joined the 10 Academy, uh, I think the, the courses we are doing in the academy are very sought out. So last week I had like three people who are reaching out to me. So yesterday I had uh, an interview with someone from Google. <laughs> and we talked and then she told me to change a few things about my LinkedIn, uh, my CV. Actually, someone else is reaching right now. Okay. Uh, I also had to change something about my CV and put the Ten Academy as an experience and not like education because it will be better that way. So I still have a text interview next week. Yeah, I'm just saying this to say there are very many openings in Google at the moment. And I think people should just wait in their skin, especially in London right now. They're really recruiting. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, that's super, really good news, really good news. Keep us updated actually in the SGS month uh, one. I know about two, I know Abraham Teka, I know Ms. Teal, that you have interviews going on. Please share in the SGS month one, just say you got an interview in this place so that even um, you know other trainees can be aware that those companies are hiring and can look into how they can also uh, you know, try to penetrate them. So yeah, 
that's one thing. The second thing, really congratulations for that. I'm seeing that you have been posting and you have been really, really good stuff. You have been reposting other posts as well. So yeah, fingers crossed for you that everything goes well. Please ping us, especially the technical team, in case you need any help or you need to understand anything better. Or if you need interview preparation, just a rehearsal, it helps big time with them so that they act, uh, you, you can tell Nathaniel, you can tell Rahmet or Emtina want to jump on a call with you, act like an interviewer and you act like an interviewee. And then they ask you some of the questions that really helps you prepare yourself. You get to know if you are taking longer time to answer the questions, if you are being nervous, if you are answering the right questions, like you're giving the right answers, or if you are being straight to the answers, like not taking so much time into details and stuff that are maybe not so much needed. So yeah, if you feel like you need that, pink one of them, I'm pretty sure they are being going to be so happy to jump on a call and even have a discussion. So yeah, keep it up. And uh, there is a question in the chat box for you. Grace. You are muted if you're speaking. Um, my specialization was Gen AI, and the position they called me for was a uh, Gen AI specialist in marketing. Just so happens I had done marketing before, before I changed careers. Wow, that's super. That's super. So, um, yeah, keep it up on your side. And uh, one learning we can take from Chris is that being on being active on LinkedIn really helps so much. So post about what you are doing, repost other posts that actually are that, are that are also in line of what you are doing from other people. Like keep your LinkedIn busy so that any potential employer that comes to your page have something to look at beyond your work experience or your full profile. That's super important. So Let's do that. Let's continue. Yabez, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, yesterday, I, uh, I was also uh, learning a lot uh, from our own sessions. Uh, maybe a little bit a reminder for me to work hard on this uh, job searching phase because I, I, I think I forgot that or I feel the relief that I finished uh, uh, the first part, but it, it reminds me that uh, still we are going, we are targeting the, to get the job. So uh, it reminds me that I have to work hard on this job searching phase also. Uh, and also yesterday I was trying to uh, connect with uh, different people in LinkedIn. Uh, most of the, the people I targeted was uh, generative, generative AI engineers. So I got some connections. I didn't do many one, but I got some connections. And the other thing is, I just to see. I tried to search uh, job in generative AI, and I found some jobs. But I was not sure if I have to apply because uh, I know that the uh, I sent my CV on. I think it was on week uh, 11's uh, non-technical challenge, and I got the comment and I already corrected that. Uh, but uh, I, I was afraid that if my LinkedIn profile, GitHub profile also, my CV are perfect so that I could, not perfect, but good enough for uh, for applying. So are we start, are we just, should we just apply the jobs we got or should we wait for maybe another uh, review of our CV or something, or CV GitHub or uh, 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 other platforms. If you get my question, yeah, yeah, I get it. So for GitHub, we are going to have a good session about it this coming week. I believe 
um, by tomorrow. Did I say this coming week? No, it's tomorrow actually, it's 24th. Tomorrow we have a tutorial about it. So I think we can wait for that session to see if actually the GitHub repositories we have are on standards with what is expected on the international job market. So yeah, we can wait for that. Then when it comes to CVs, I believe all the um, all the all the feedbacks has been given. But let me check you quickly. See what you settled on. Okay. So we, with the CVs, I'm saying that. Uh, some of the feedbacks were worked on, but some uh, um, some other feedbacks were not worked on. So I'm going to be providing some of the extra feedbacks on this because I'm feeling like you have many, many statements which can be tiring to read through. It's better we have bullet points, but I will be reading and show you how we can actually do it specifically on your end. Yeah. So like you can expect on everyone's side, you can expect that by Friday you will be having solid materials. We are doing LinkedIn and 10 Academy profiles today. Uh, Mariam and Margaret are going to be focusing on that. So you can expect them to see, you can expect to see them in your careers channel. And then I will be going through the CVs again and see if there is any if it's good or if there are any other improvements we can make for now so by friday you can expect to start applying after friday okay okay noted thank you uh, okay welcome uh grace you have a question in the chat box do you want to answer that before we wrap up uh I don't think it applies everywhere, but for the ones who have reached out so far, I've reached out because in my LinkedIn, I didn't write it as a as a education. I wrote it as an experience. And uh, they said it actually sold better for it being as, as an experience than uh, you can check out my LinkedIn. You'll see that an academy is not a, a school the way I wrote it there. And apparently they like it better that way. But I don't think it applies everywhere. OK, thanks for the insights. Let's explore that. Check out her LinkedIn, see if you can do it the same way. Or if you, you, th you feel like it doesn't apply on your side, then you know keep it in the school. So either way. Uh, all right, so anyone who has a question before we wrap up? Any curiosity? All right, so I believe everything is much clear. Okay, Johannes, go ahead. A LinkedIn group or? in our profile uh, is there a smart way to do it like uh, just posting we did it seems like we are begging for them to come is there a way smarter way oh come again posting where either in the group or in the profile our project johannes i don't think i understood your question well your project in which group which group are you referring to a uh, linkedin groups oh you mean the other new group that you just joined yeah yes yeah yeah but what do you think you are the one in the group what are other people doing there are they posting about what they're doing because i think they're definitely doing so so you can go ahead and do the same Yes, uh, there are people who posted, but I actually posted one of my projects and 
I'm still waiting for the admin approval. And since I didn't get it, maybe I thought I did something okay. wrong. I didn't get the admin approval. Admin approval to be part of the group? No, yeah, to, uh, to be the post to be visible. Uh, for the post to be visible. Uh, do you have any way you can reach him or her directly and ask for more information? Maybe they haven't even looked at it yet. Okay. Maybe I will yeah. wait for that is. Absolutely. Or ask uh, any other individual whose posts are visible. That means they were approved. Whose projects are visible. That means they were approved. So ask them uh, what process did they go through and what do they think about your project? You can just share it. Ask them, do you think this is the, what, what do you think are the reasons why mine is not approved yet? They may tell you more information if they have been there for long. Okay, uh, Martin. Sorry, uh, good morning, everyone. I wanted to ask a question about certifications. Uh, what certifications are verified and um, are there like, like um, what sites can like one get certifications? Like, can I, can I do Datacamp? Can I do Coursera? Can I do AWS? Like how 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 important are they for let me say for my LinkedIn or on my or on my CV? That's the question I wanted to ask. Okay, anyone in the group who wants to give us their insights? Yes, Michael. Oh, okay, uh, AWS and Azure and Google, they are the companies. So if it is everything related to cloud, uh, that is very nice to have. But uh, other than that, Coursera is like the, an international company and many universities and many teachers taught us. So uh, in a way it is certified, but the mid, in the cloud, the AWS and Azure is good, but other than that, uh, Coursera is very nice for the general courses like machine learning or GNAI or data engineering. Coursera and EDX as well is good. Okay. Thanks, and uh, thanks, Michael. Musa, do you have any idea you can add on top of that? Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. So Hi. regarding certifications, I think Coursera certificates are good, but they usually uh, ask for payment when you want to get certificates. The courses are free. You can apply for financial aid and get uh, the courses. But when you want to uh, get the certificates, you'd have to uh, you'd have to pay at uh, I think the amount around fifty dollars or somewhat. It depends on the course edit, I think. So having certifications would help in your uh, job search. And uh, I I hope you guys actually like uh, have some certificates in your CV. So that it could catch the, the eyes of the uh, employers. Okay, absolutely. So, Martin, I believe you got uh, all answers you were looking for. Great. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we can wrap up now, call it a meeting, and then go ahead and enjoy the rest of the day. Today, we have one session. Uh, but we will have an intro to it very shortly, and then we will go straight into, into its tutorial. It's all about company study and how we do company researches uh, to increase our knowledges of the companies we want to apply for and to demonstrate actually that we know much about them when we get into their interviews. So yeah, we are going to be doing that today. So, and we will be having challenges after that. Uh, those are challenges that we go th from uh, yeah, from today, tomorrow, and 
Thursday as well. So yeah, hopefully to meet you all there. See you and thanks for being present here. Bye for now.